Well, pro-life advocates calling for a special prosecutor to take on the case against Planned Parenthood after a Texas grand jury declined to indict the clinic for harvesting of unborn babies' body parts. It revealed it was revealed under undercover footage like this. Now, the video maker David. Uh, Delighton, uh, he was indicted. Instead, a decision that abortion opponents are calling politically motivated. And joining me now, Republican Congresswoman Diane Black of Tennessee. She is a member of the Congressional Pro Life Caucus and a registered nurse. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Heather. It's great to be with you. So, first of all, you were a nurse for four decades, and you've also you authored the the House-approved Defund Planned Parenthood Act of 2015. How do you feel about this decision? Well, I think this is a miscarriage of justice when we uh, see that an investigation has been done and, and there are obviously some things on those films that do need to be further investigated. Um, as a nurse, as you have already indicated, and I still do keep my license, um, we see things on there that are clearly, um, if they are being done in the clinics, that would be against the law. And this investigation needs to uh, really be done into this organization. Mm -hmm. But instead, David Delighton, we mentioned him, Sandra Merritt, also facing 20 years in prison for allegedly just trying to buy the fetal tissue and then also using a fake ID. That, in fact, is a felony. And we have a couple of examples of some of the things that were said and shown in the videos. And there's at least 11. There's some videos that were not released. Um, and the evidence, as you said, pretty overwhelming. In the fourth video specifically, uh, Planned Parenthood doctor stated, uh, we don't want to do just a flat fee per baby of like $200. A per item thing works a little bit better just because we can see how much we can get out of it. So in the face of you know, overwhelming um, evidence, a lot of disturbing video, why do you think this happened? Uh, you know, I really can't answer that until we see all of the reports that come out of the grand jury decision. Um, that's yet to be seen, but it does make me just shake my head and say, how in the world can you watch those videos? Um, you're referencing one piece of it where they are negotiating the price. If it were just recovering the fees of what it costs to um, harvest the tissue, then there would be a flat fee schedule and there wouldn't be these negotiations. Neither would there be discussion about, well, if you want a heart, a liver, a brain, which, by the way, doesn't come from a blob of tissue, it comes from a baby, that we can alter the procedure. That is against the law as well. And there was another element. I think that it was in the seventh video, perhaps the most disturbing of all of them, when a former uh, 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 STEM Express employee, she worked at the Planned Parenthood Clinic, one of them, she describes the harvesting of specifically a heartbeat and how a supervisor asked her to come over and said, I can show you something cool, and this is the quote from it, and she just taps the heart and it starts beating, and I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this fetus and its heart is beating and I don't know what to think. So what are well, people listening to this development and, and this decision to think? Well, what I hope that people will do is they watch these videos, and I really do hope that they at least pull up, and I know it's very difficult. Um, for me as a medical person, it was difficult, but for non-medical people, it will especially be difficult. But I hope they pull that up and look at it and see what's happening in the abortion industry, um, an industry that is very well-funded and um, one that we can change the hearts and minds of people. Many years ago, uh, they were told by places like Pan Planned Parenthood and other abortion industry folks that this is not a baby, this is a blob of tissue. And now through technology, we know better than that. As I say, you don't get a heart, a brain, or a lung from a blob of tissue. This is a baby. So changing the hearts and minds of people to understand mm -hmm. what's truly going on out there, and especially um, if there's trafficking, which appears to be happening, uh, that we have got to, as a nation, say, no, not here in our country. And we in, will not have this. What about the money, the congressional effort to deny the organization its 500 million yearly taxpayer subsidy? That failed. What will you do about that? Well, it did pass on our reconciliation. It went to the president. Um, he vetoed it. And we will have a vote uh, coming up next week, I'm not sure which day, to attempt to override the veto of the president. And um, some people say, well, this measure just is futile because you know you can't override. We have got to stay in the fight. We have got to let the American people know what's going on behind those closed doors at these clinics. Congresswoman Diane Black, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me.